Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss the histology of the lip. Lip contains a well developed core of striated muscles which makes it highly mobile. So it has an outer surface then the inner mucosal surface and the transition border. So outer surface it is nothing but a thin skin. So it is lined by stratified squamous keratinized epithelium. It has a thin layer of keratin with the hair. So you have to remember how you wrote the skin. So you have to write the hair follicle, the erector pile muscle, the sebaceous glands. Hair follicles can be thin and uh, thick also near the mustache region, the up outer part, upper lip, it can be a thick one. The lower lip is a very thin area. So remember how you wrote, it's a basal columnar epithelium. Then you have a polygonal cells, you can write very thin skin, no? so two to three layers of polygonal cells. Then the topmost layer of flattened squamous cells and the another uh, squamous cells without uh, a nuclei that's a keratin so you have to write a thin layer of keratin also so this is a polygonal cells which i'm drawing then the flat cells and the keratin layer make sure uh, don't write the epithelium too big it's mainly the central core of muscle which forms the main bulk of the lip. So all representative diagram you have to draw in a miniature form. Don't draw how you draw in the skin. The same layers you have to write in a small miniature. You have to size you have to reduce because the main core is the muscle there. So that's the outer surface which is lined by stratified squamous keratinized epithelium the hairs, the sebaceous glands, erector pile muscle and all. So remember the columnar cells has a vertically oval nucleus, the polygonal cells with a round nucleus and the topmost cells has a horizontally flat nucleus, the squamous cells. That's a keratin. That's the cut section of the hair follicle, the central core of a hair and surrounded by the epithelium. The erector pile, which is smooth muscle, and also the sebaceous glands, which contains the cells, lightly stained cells, round cells with the centrally placed nucleus. That's the outer surface, it's nothing but a thin skin. This is transition zone, also called vermilion zone. It is uh, covered by stratified squamous non-keratin is most of the book says but some book says it's a transition so keratin will be present very thin layer of keratin because the mucosal surface which is nothing but the inner surface inside the lip is non-keratinized epithelium so you have on the one side you have a keratinized epithelium another side you have a non-keratinized epithelium and the transition zone is the area where keratin is almost become non-keratinized and keratin is almost 
reduced in number so keratin can be present but it's very thin layer keratin in the transition zone and transition zone deep to that you have a rich blood supply lip is the area where you have a rich blood supply that's a transition zone is nothing but the area where the lipstick is applied so that is red in color rich in capillaries and the nerves on the mucosal surface the basement membrane is wavy they are called retail ridges which helps in the firm attachment of the epithelium to underlying lamina propria deep to that you have many salivary glands the many mucosal and serosal glands which keeps the mucosal surface moist so the mucosal surface is stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium the basement membrane is folded that's called retail ridges underlying that you have a lot of mucosal glands which keep this mucosal surface moist there is a transition zone kept moist by the saliva in the oral cavity now the we have written the covering now the main bulk is composed of orbicularis oris muscle which is a skeletal muscle skeletal muscle depending on the section uh, how we take the specimen it can be a transverse section or the oblique section whatever we are showing it looks mostly the transverse section so just remember how you wrote the transverse section of the skeletal muscle you have to write in a similar way and as i told you lip is uh, rich in capillaries make sure you write a lot of capillary especially below the transition zone so skeletal muscle the polygonal shape of uh, the fascicle muscle fascicle and sharpen your pencil and you have to keep the peripherally placed multiple nucleus so remember it's a skeletal muscle ts even the oblique section also you can write the bundle of uh, fascicle muscle fascicle the polygonal shape and peripherally placed nucleus so this is the histology of the lip the outer uh, thin skin inner mucosal cell and the transition zone and the main bulk is the skeletal muscle that's orbicularis oris mucosal surface has mucus glands to keep it moist thin skin you have to show about the hair and its apparatus i hope you understood how to draw the lip if you like the video please give a thumbs up share the video with your friends i've shared the label diagram also in the end of the video you can just see refer that to label the diagram Thank you for watching.